Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have Overwatch played in the third person? Well, wonder no more because now there's Bleeding Edge! Dive into a world where people randomly augment their body with mechanical devices for no apparent reason other than engaging in loosely organized street brawls. Don't worry though, despite attacking each other with massive deadly explosive attacks and slashing swords, everyone's actually friends and they're just doing this for fun. Take on one of three roles in Tank Healer and Damage Dealer as you engage in 4 vs 4 mayhem on a handful of maps. Explore one of two totally innovative and unique game modes with objective control where you control objectives and something where you collect batteries for some reason. Pick one of several characters featuring melee abilities to use beat-em-up attacks, dodge rolls, and a parry that leaves you more vulnerable than the opponent you just parried. Or grab one of the fewer ranged characters and spend most of the match running for your life trying to get out of melee combo locks. Armor up with one of the tanks like Buttercup, a crazy design of this woman on a motorized unicycle with deadly saw blade wheel arms. Or pick up this astoundingly generic maori style tank that features Reinhardt's Charge, Wrecking Ball's Wrecking Ball, Lucio's Heal and Speed Boost, and even E-Honda's Hundred Hand Slap. Damn! Try out some damage dealers like this angry looking rocker dude with his fire and electricity attacks or this fetish inducing chicken lady. Or check out Damon with his shuriken throws, sword attacks, and dashing slash maneuvers that certainly won't remind you of anyone from anywhere else. Then make your way to the healers who are actually pretty unique individuals. There's even a talking snake with a reanimated dead guy attached to his ass. Nice! Take this small band of the original or copied into battle via the single queue to duke it out in the two game modes pummeling your opponents for points. Navigate the small maps with the bare minimum of coordination working together to ensure as many fights as possible give you the unfair advantage necessary for victory. If it's not two on one, turn around and run. Whether you win or lose, you'll get some currency to unlock numerous skins, hoverboards, and other cosmetics you've come to depend on for a sense of progression. You can even get mods to fill out one of the three slots per character so you can bask in the glory of minor stat augmentations. Enjoy the magnificent drip feed of currency collection that this microtransactionless game will supply in preparation for the day it ultimately becomes free to play and turns on that paid currency. Bleeding Edge, all of the styles and coloring of an Ed Hardy design universe with the potential lifespan of a suicidal goldfish. Isn't it kind of crazy that the same company that brought you Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice also made this colorful generic dance party of a game? That would be like if George Miller followed up Mad Max with a movie about a talking pig or a dancing penguin.